Deep within each of us, there's a feeling that can sometimes make us want things a lot. It's like a big, fiery feeling called lust. You might feel it when you want something, like a toy or candy, and you can't stop thinking about it. Jesus says in Matthew 5, 28, But I tell you that if a man looks at a woman and wants to sin sexually with her, he has already committed that sin with her in his mind. But the Bible says that lust can be like a tricky trickster. It makes things seem nice at first, but then it can make us feel bad later. It's like eating too much candy. It feels good at first, but then our tummies hurt, John the Elder says in Word John 2.16. This is all there is in the world. Wanting to please our sinful selves, wanting the sinful things we see, and being too proud of what we have. But none of these comes from the Father. They come from the world. The Bible also says that we have to be strong and not let lust control us. It's like saying no to too much candy, even when it's right in front of us. We have to be smart and make good choices. Paul the Apostle says in Galatians 5.16, So I tell you, live the way the Spirit leads you. Then you will not do the evil things your sinful self wants. We can learn from people like Paul, who talked about how we have to fight against the things we want too much. It's like when we want to play, but we have to finish our homework first. It's hard, but it's important. Apostle Paul says in Colossians 3, 5, So put everything evil out of your life, sexual sin, doing anything immoral, letting sinful thoughts control you, and wanting wrong things. And don't keep wanting more and more for yourself, which is the same as worshiping a false god. And when we choose to be kind and patient instead of always wanting more, that's when we find real love. Love is like sharing your toys or helping a friend. It feels good inside, and it's way better than just wanting stuff all the time. So, let's be strong together and choose love over lust. We can do it if we help each other, and remember that true happiness comes from being good and caring for others. For in the end, it is love, pure, selfless, and unwavering, that shall set us free.